next saved message. Hi, is this the Black Jeep Farm in Nova Scotia? You know, the place where all black jeeps go to live out their retirement lives. So, I think we have a problem. I think we have a Jeep problem. Um, we bought another Jeep. This is a 2003 uh, Jeep Wrangler Sahara. Okay, so we were looking at cars because we sold our Jeep, hence the celebration. So we, we were looking for uh, cars because we didn't have a vehicle that we could drive that was road legal um, after we sold the Jeep. So we were looking for um, like regular cars, but then we came across this beauty. So we went over just to take a look at it and it was actually in really good shape. Um, there is a bit of rust on the body, but the frame, the frame is kind of rust free and it's pretty good shape. So we decided to just buy it um, and just use it as a daily driver. We still need to fix it up a bit. Just yet another project, but it is road legal and we've been driving it for a while now and honestly we've been having a blast we actually have been driving it around every day we took it um over to the indian fields and there were like sand dunes and everything so we just kind of tested out it's a four by four also when we went over there and it was a lot of fun we're really enjoying it right now also this jeep came with a name it's called Weeble. Uh, that's the name the owner gave it, Weeble. So we're actually sticking with that name. But yeah, now we're just gonna go about our day and then we'll talk a little bit more about the Comanche and where we're at with it right now. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're making something special today. alo has been asking for it from a very long time and I've been Kind of pushing it aside because it's a, a bit of work but we're making liver fry it is my mom's recipe i already have the liver marinated but now we're gonna actually do the cooking What do you think? <laughs> so good. Sometimes when Ado's too impatient, we gotta make ready-made rice. So we realized that we actually didn't give you a proper tour of the Comanche. We showed it to you briefly in our previous video, uh, but we didn't really talk about the specifics of it. So we thought we'll do a little bit of that today. It is a 1986 Jeep Comanche. Uh, we don't really know which trim it is, but it does have the long bed. The first year that they manufactured it, they only did the long bed, which is eight feet, I believe. They only did the shorter beds the year after. The 
previous owner has actually done quite a bit of work to it he's painted uh, all of this matte black which we really love he also has done a lot of work to the body i believe there was a bit of rust and he's also added in a new floors at the back you'll also see that he's changed the floor of the bed to uh, like a wooden base, which we kind of like as well. Uh, we might keep it that way. This right here, Aldo is not a very big fan of. I mean, I don't mind it as much, but it might be something that comes off in the future, we'll see. And I think the previous owner swapped this grill um, from an XJ because the when they manufactured this, I believe it had like the 10 slot and not the eight. So I think he might have uh, swapped these out. Fun fact. And I think these are 31 inch tires um, with some really retro, retro looking wheels. Learning about the Comanche with Dash. And the interior is not very bad looking either. Uh, the seats are good. Um, I like all this. Um, I think this is leather on the, on the doors. I really like that. Um, he has, he has like done some floor work uh, over there. And we do have to uh, fix this. There's no really paneling or anything on the roof. So we might have to add something in there. We haven't done much with it yet. We did take it over to our friend's shop and he took a good look at it. And uh, he's given us this huge list of things that need to be fixed a top priority right now is just to get it on the road so just to have it inspected and uh, road ready on this side of the sheet we have everything that needs to be fixed to get it inspected uh, and to pass inspection rather and on this side we have everything that it needs you know later on like when we go off-roading or for our road life um, so yeah, there will be a lot of work that we'll have to put into it to get it ready as an overlanding rig, but that is later on. Um, right now, we're just going to get it on the road. Also, I forgot to mention uh, what we're going to be calling this Jeep Comanche. We've decided to name him Ranadira, Rana for short, which means steady in battle. Uh, it is also the name of a South Indian king, I believe. This is Darren. He's the one who's going to be working on the Comanche. He's going to be helping us get it on the road. He also has a shop close by that he's starting. Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the progress of, of putting it together, so it's not quite a complete shop yet. Yes, it's getting there. <laughs> and you're going to be seeing a lot of him around this channel. What do you have there, Aldo? Nothing. What is it? That's your new toy? It's become like a jungle in here. I have to be honest, I've ignored these plants for a while, but now I've just come in and there are like so many beans. So I probably should start harvesting all of this quickly before they rot. The new owners of this lot have kindly let us take care of this place. So they still let me come in and water it and like harvest the vegetables and everything. So that's that was really nice of them. Look at this one. Look at this guy. Okay, we just stopped at the store because we're planning on cutting down uh, some trees. Picked up some ice cream some motor oil for the chainsaw 
but it is raining pretty bad right now so we're not sure Ooh, dripping ice cream all on my hand we might have to postpone the tree cutting for tomorrow we'll see how it goes can you turn it off and by the way i forgot to mention what no that was really weird we heard something fall so aldo's over there trying to investigate and look for it i guess this is our life now Okay, this is Darren. He's the one who's going to be working on the, um, I was going to say TJ. <laughs> okay. Got too many okay. jeeps now. Rana for short, which means, I forgot. What does it mean? Wait, there's a double side to this list? <laughs> oh man, we're screwed.